Hello and welcome to Americans Learn. My name is Lauren and I am very, very excited about today's video. Uh, this one has been requested a couple of times by a few different people, so if that was you, thank you very much. Um, this one is Johnny Vegas making everyone cry with laughter. So this had better be good and I had better cry with laughter. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, I'm really excited about this. I love Johnny Vegas. Uh, he is very good. <laughs> He's becoming one of my favorite um, like comedians just out there. I like and really very much enjoyed every single time I've seen him, and he never disappoints on these panel shows. And that this one, he's making everyone cry. I want to also. I want to also cry with laughter. So I'm excited about this. Thank you again for uh, suggesting it. Um, and now, without any further ado, let's go. G'day, I'm Adam Hills. Join me along with Alex Brooker, Josh Whittacombe and Johnny I Vegas. Did it. <laughs> I did it! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it was a bit of a twang, he's under some carpet. <laughs> In the Park. He, 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 he always shouted at dogs. Sorry, <laughs> God. I, I made sure to make eye contact. <laughs> I was going to go around the back, but I thought, I want you to fucking know who did this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you mean. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The stories behind. But isn't that the most competitively, fiercely, the way they speak about each other, off the field? Everything about it was where you're going, I've never, outside of rugby league, been so immersed in sport. Yeah. Because athletics always put me off. Why? Because it was wankers at school. <laughs> <laughs> His dad was a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> and these were people who came out and competed. Do you know what? I do, do think... They really competed, but, but, but took the time as well to talk to you. After, do you know what I mean? You were in there. Yeah. I mean, some disabled people are wankers, but... <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> Try working with them, mate. Try working with them. Uh, are you I up? had a massive finger that was going to be lowered. <laughs> no. I don't know how somebody would allow themselves to get in that kind of state. <laughs> <laughs> As an audience member, I'm outraged. <laughs> What's the point of coming on a show if all you want to do is treat it like a night out at the pub? <laughs> if I came on and did that, you wouldn't book me again. <laughs> we did, Johnny. We did. <laughs> We <laughs> because of it. You keep telling us you're going to change. You never do, but we take it back because we love you. <laughs> now, an interesting thing happened that night. Uh, Chris O'Dowd was booked as one of our guests on the show. Before, as the show started, a guy in the audience over there thought it would be really funny to just take his shirt off. Mm. It's never happened before. It's the only time it's ever happened. Didn't tell anyone. The cameras came round at the beginning of the show. There's a half-nude guy sitting in the <laughs> But you know what? It was good to see Johnny in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> now, what happened was no-one knew, so security guards rushed the guy. So for the first 15 minutes of the show, he was over there, I couldn't see him, or the whole audience were watching six security guards surrounding a half-naked guy in the audience. People at home were tweeting Johnny <laughs> raising a new guy. In. Hilsey, yeah. don't look. <laughs> but just to say, yeah. what you think is happening is happening. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it looked like. The whole audience, <laughs> were, <laughs> the whole audience were freaked out. Security guards were there. They, no one. Where was are right. the security tonight? <laughs> but we then what got, happened? Uh, Johnny, we have okay, got a photo of you from ten years ago. Let's have a look. See how much you've changed. Wow. What were you doing in that photo? I was doing an advertisement, and I was rolling across the bonnet of a car, and I suddenly realised that I had a family to look after. <laughs> And then, as your children get older, you realise that they're going to find pictures like that online. <laughs> and so I retired from such adverts. <laughs> Everything uh, you say feels like it needs a phone number at the bottom of the screen. People <laughs> <laughs> are affected by your sadness. I am a walking helpline. <laughs> I love the guy in the background, too. Like, what's, what's that, like, lanky dude doing? His hand. Right, he looks let's... like he's carrying something. He's, like, invisible carrying... 
something. I don't know. The Talk Sport now, 2019. And also England. his this is not a good look for this man. That's not a good look for him. What's the last leg, by the way? People that keep requesting specifically Johnny Vegas on the last leg. Um, I'm going to watch another uh, shorter ver uh, video right after this, um, which might actually be the one that uh, people really wanted me to watch. But, like, I don't know what this show is at all. I'd never heard of it before. Wow, is that my bit? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get a chance to talk about my ambitions, just there's a picture of look, you looking fat. <laughs> Sorry, what have, what's been your highlight of the decade? <laughs> it doesn't matter! <laughs> I am my highlight of the decade. Well, I thought you were going to ask me my highlight of the year. Yes, what's that? I was watching a really angry Punch and Judy man actually leave the tent and he walked past an ice cream man and he went, I'm at you. <laughs> he knew that his Punch and Judy <laughs> women hitting men was in demise and he was angry that another guy had gone into a different business selling joy rather than domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> and I sat there and it really made me happy. <laughs> Of the decade. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> All of the family collectively gathering together and acknowledging we've done bad things. Okay. <laughs> like, like a family. That, 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 gets, that gets killed in a, in a Clint Eastwood film, but at least we all held hands together and said, we've done bad things. <laughs> and at least three out of five of us opposed Brexit. <laughs> and the other two that didn't agree yeah. are now dead in a well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's Josh Whittacombe and Johnny Vegas again. And then, okay, who is this guy in the salmon shirt? Because I think I'm. they've cut this very weird. But he's he's there every single time, that guy in the salmon shirt. I know they introduced him at the top, but I don't remember what they said his name was. But he's there every single time. Anyway, I, the, I think I am going to go back and see if I can't see the other one that's going to be this clip just straight because that might make things make a little more sense. I won't send a wine cup for a nun. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I, I used to I used to piss in the bath and pretend it was <laughs> pretend it was James Bond and it was acid. <laughs> and I used to sit there and like work out how long I'd go without giving them you're telling them the answers to everything they wanted to know. <laughs> anyway, let, let's do this. <laughs> Feels good to get it off your chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it, it, it's like buying your tricycle and then buying your brother a brand new Mercedes. <laughs> It's private healthcare versus us. They don't care. They never have. They want to privatise it. They can't make money off it. I get really upset on this one, so I don't <laughs> want to go on modern live TV. But it really offends me. It's caused me... It's given me years with my parents. The Not NHS. all of them years happy, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> my mum can nag. But they have... They have ostensibly given us years of valuable life, and they don't care about it. They pretend to care about it, it's always a PR release. It will always be something to just keep us quietly happy until they can get rid. And it, 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 it genuinely upsets me to yeah. see those, those, those moments of going, we're doing this, you're not doing it, you're doing nothing. The people who work within it work so hard. The patience they have, the care that they give. I understand there's issues this week that have come out, you know what I mean, on other press stories, yeah. about other people's families and how they've been treated in other... 
But personally, all I can say is, if we don't fight for the NHS, we lose ourselves as a yeah, country. I agree. We, we absolutely... Um, I, I expect you to smell of piss, Mr Bond. <laughs> See, I think I will have to watch the separate thing where they actually just have it straight through because watching it cut up like this, like, who did that? That was bad. Oh, oh why am I crying in the promos? <laughs> I saw a bloke catch a cap and put his penis in its mouth and I told no one. <laughs> he should have lost his fucking rod licence. <laughs> All right, yeah, so the rest of it is um, just this again. So I'm going to stop this right here and go and just watch the whole thing. Um, all right, yeah, I'm just going to go back and watch all of it because I want to see it straight through because that looks like the best bit. So let's actually watch this whole of it straight through. It's only 3 minutes and 45. All right. G'day, I'm Adam Hills. G'day. Me, along with Alex Brooker, Josh Whittacom, and Johnny Vegas. Alex Vegas. Brooker. <laughs> I did it! Sorry, sorry. He <laughs> <laughs> uh, was a bit of a twat and he's under some carpet. <laughs> In Taylor Park. He, 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 he always shouted at dogs. Sorry, <laughs> God. <laughs> Make sure to make eye contact. <laughs> I was going to go around the back, but I thought, I want you to fucking know who did this. <laughs> Two more. Two more. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> like, he just did not I last long. I for a nun. <laughs> um... <laughs> um... <laughs> I used to... I used to piss in the bath. And pretend I, was, <laughs> pretend I was James Bond and it was acid. <laughs> and I used to sit there and, like, work out how long I'd go without giving them... You know, telling them the answers to everything they wanted to know. <laughs> anyway, let, let's do this. <laughs> Feels good to get it off your chest. <laughs> I do, I do like his laugh. That's a good, one. that's a good one. Oh, well. There we go. Okay. There we go. It's there nice to share it with a live audience. <laughs> <laughs> right, go G'day, I'm Adam Hills. Join me along with Alex Brooker, Josh. <laughs> I'm so oh. sorry. I was holding it together. And you know, all he did no, was... No, I'll do nothing, sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit, this is going to no, take I forever. I, ex <laughs> I expect you to smell of piss, Mr Bond. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, why am I crying in the promos? I saw a bloke catch a cap and put his penis in its mouth and I told no one. <laughs> He should have lost his fucking rod license. <laughs> Just so serious. <laughs> I should have at least wrote a strongly worded letter to the Anglican Association. <laughs> uh, okay. Yep. <laughs> Balls deep, he was in. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what fish are like? They look shocked enough, don't they? <laughs> it's, it's, not the, it's not the natural environment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, I think it was it was best to do that uh, 
as as one clip as opposed to all broken up like that with several of his different appearances. Uh, <laughs> I love that he just like, except for when the second guy, Alex Burroughs, whenever that second guy, whenever he started like hooting with laughter, Johnny would kind of break a little bit. But I really liked how he's just like, just so just deadpan the whole time. <laughs> I do wonder how many of those like he kind of came up with beforehand and how much he was just going off the cuff. Uh, he seems like somebody who would be quite good at just improv in, in general, just like, and you know, it's work and let's just, he's in a, he's in a zone. Um, I love that the host like went through like three different color shades. <laughs> he turned a fully different shade by the end of that. Um, yeah, Johnny, Johnny Vegas never disappoints. He never disappoints. He's so sincere, I feel like, just in his, like, when he's laughing, he's very, very much, he's, I do, I, I do adore him. Um, so thank you for everyone who suggested uh, Johnny Vegas um, and this particular uh, video even. Um, anyone who can tell me what the last leg is, uh, thank you. Um, I've never heard of it. At least the other panel shows that I've reacted to, um, so far, I've at least heard of them before, even if I didn't know what exactly they were about. So people have been very kind and in explaining those, uh, this one never even heard of. So, uh, thank you again for suggesting it. I do adore me some Johnny Vegas. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.